Hey, I'm Travis, production manager here at Zenith Aircraft. Come on in and let me show you our new expansion. So here we are in our updated showroom. Um, we've got our nice new floor surface and everything cleaned up and organized. You can also see that all those folks over there having fun are here at our workshop learning how to build a rudder and thinking of buying a Zenith aircraft. As we're exiting the showroom, you can see here we have our part shelves. We're coming into where we store those. Everything's organized by airplane and section, so it's efficient for our picking department to pick and pack the uh, crates. So whenever we build uh, parts here at Zenith, we use what we call batch production. We don't build per order. We'll build 50 of this part, 50 of that part. We just cycle through the list of parts and make sure we have them all in stock pretty much all the time. So again, if you look at our shelves, you can see that uh, we're ready to ship something out to you tomorrow as far as individual parts go. So when we get ready to ship a kit to a customer, we have a two by four and plywood crate we lay cardboard in the bottom. We lay all of your flat skins in the bottom with paper in them. Everything's labeled nicely. We cover the top skin with cardboard as well. And then we start filling in with boxes of parts, cardboard, wrapped pieces, stiffeners to hold things securely. We do uh, go through great measures to make sure that your parts are gonna arrive safely. For folks that live close enough or don't wanna deal with the uh, expense of shipping, uh, we have added a new bay so you can come and pick up your kit here and be indoors while being loaded. Uh, we've got racks where we can store four or five different pickups at the same time. Uh, we're at our open house this weekend and we have, uh, I think, six or seven pickups happening all this weekend. So uh, you'd be welcome to come and pick up and actually take possession of your kit right here at the factory. So this is the new expanded part of Zenith, uh, the new side of the building, if you will. One thing I'm pretty excited about is I've got this new mezzanine directly over the shipping department. There's so many things I can't put it all in one little area, but I can put it above their heads. So they still have to climb stairs to get some of the stuff that goes in, uh, but they don't have to walk all the way across the shop to get to the stairs. You can see we've got nice racks. We've got um, all of our spars and cabin sides in stock. We've got plenty of wheels and tires. This is an area where we're doing uh, quick builds, product development, uh, things of that nature. A new operation here at Zenith since the expansion is the manufacturing of the cabin sides and the spars. Uh, all of those are being done here now. Um, you can see we've got a, a nice roll table and riveting operation going on. Okay, and up top we have uh, firewall forward kits being stored and organized. We're looking at adding even more of those. Quick tour through the uh, welding department and fabrication of the welded parts. We've got all of our 4130 chrome alley tubing. We've got our equipment here where we machine all the parts prior to welding. Looking down through, you can see we have two TIG welding stations, pre-manufactured parts ready for welding, all the fixturing, uh, all of our parts are welded entirely in a fixture. Aluminum fuel tanks, um, we're not using the plastic tanks. We stick with the aluminum. We've got a lot of different sizes and shapes for different models. So yeah, all of our models at Zenith are match drilled and we're doing final hole size. And that, uh, the thing that helps us be able to do that is this CNC router. It will actually cut all the holes in part A, all the holes in part B, and all the customer has to do is just line those two holes up and click it together. So we have two routers here, at, uh, CNC routers here at Zenith and they are both uh, dual head. So we're always cutting two parts at a time when the parts are small enough to fit side by side on the table. We hold the material down with a vacuum pump. So the material is held down flat and is not allowed to flutter. Anytime you're cutting, you're creating the lift in action. And that vacuum pump will hold that material down and it gives us a beautiful machined edge. Our raw stock here at Zenith Aircraft for aluminum is 6061T6. We have it in full skids and we buy a lot of those skids at a time. I order all the material in in what I call paper interleaf. So there is literally a sheet of paper between every piece and that keeps it looking brand new all the way here from the uh, mill 
as well as helping not scratch the material when we take it off. That material is also wadded up and use it as packing material whenever we ship your kit. So we have a CNC press brake. It's responsible for bending all of the bends that are straight, not curved around like a rib. What we do is we program it and it can go up to nine different bend settings per part. So the backstop will move to the position necessary. The ram will come down to the degree necessary to make the parts correctly. We use uh, Nomar film on the, on the die so we don't have uh, any marking on your parts at all. So when we have a part that is got multiple bends in it, all of that was done on the press brake and you still see that it looks just as new of material as it did when we took it off the rack. So this is a rear rib and it was cut out on the CNC uh, router, pressed through a punch and a die on the press brake. We have tooling holes positioned by the router and we always talk about CNC and all this great technology, but here at Zenith, we believe in using the right tool for the job. And let me show you how we do our lightning holes. He's gonna put a spring-loaded pin into the pre-drilled hole for the flange. And in one shot, he's gonna cut that hole and flange it. And there you go. So this is a nose rib for an SD. You can see that uh, the router has cut it out, and put all the holes in it. We place the tooling holes on a form block and we put this into our rubber press, cover it with a wear pad. And what this is is a 150 ton press that's filled with a bladder of polyurethane. So we're gonna turn the machine on, we're gonna hit cycle start. The part is being driven up into a bladder of polyurethane. The urethane is gonna mold around the part this is gonna encapsulate the urethane and put 150 ton on it. That makes it very hard. Forcing the material to go into the shape that we want. So as we pull this out now, you can see that we have a formed part. Hey, thanks for taking the tour with me. I would love to see you guys come and see this place in uh, person. I don't think the video can do it justice, so please come and have a look. Mm -hmm.